Hey guys, this is TJ with View Rail, and today I'm here to help you get some exact measurements for your glass railing. You received a glass railing measuring kit and a post layout drawing. What you'll want to do is grab that drawing, identify run one, and once you've identified run one, go to that area on your deck and uh, we'll proceed to the next step. All right, so you've received your template guide. In that guide, you're gonna have uh, your talon spigot uh, acrylic templates here. And what this is gonna be representing is the, uh, the mounting foot and the terminations of the glass. So on a corner condition here, um, on an outside corner condition like this one here, we are going to want to lay these templates um, taking into effect the outside overhang of the deck and the location of these mounting fasteners. So when positioning these, we want to first measure the overhang. And on this one, we've got one inch. Also got one inch on the outside of this side as well. So we want to position those. We want to position the feet one inch from the outside, ensuring that the mounting locations are going to go directly into the backing underneath that finished deck board. Now that we've got that correct offset, we're going to go ahead and align our glass edges so that what we've got a one inch gap between these two glass edges here. Once you have those two things set, go ahead and take your supplied screws and begin mounting these in place. So now that we've got our corner set on the opposite end of the run here, uh, I've come to the, uh, where, the, where the stairs are actually going to descend behind me and I'm going to set my, my second template. Uh, again, ensuring that my template here, when I'm setting it, I'm taking to account my overhang and that I am setting this template exactly where it's going to be mounted um, into solid material underneath it. So I'm gonna measure here and I've got my same one inch overhang and I wanna ensure that this template is directly in line with my opposite end and then I'm pulled back exactly one inch. Once those two things are set, go ahead again and mount this, this second template. All right, guys, now that we've got both uh, templates installed here, we can pull the measurement of this run. Um, when pulling this measurement, we wanna, we wanna pull the measurement directly from one end of the, of the template foot to the opposite end of that outside foot. So when we're hooking our tape measure, we want to hook to the foot, not the end of the glass. So we'll get that hook there. The opposite end of this run. And when we pull this measurement, again, we're going to pull it from the outside of this foot, not the end of the glass, the outside of the foot. We've got 143 and a quarter. Now that we've got that measurement of 143 and a quarter, we're going to record it on the back side of this template guide. So on the back side here, we've got a run type. Uh, we went from an outside corner to a straight. So we'll record that um, in the length of 143 and a quarter. Uh, really, all you have to do is repeat that same process throughout the, um, the rest of your runs on your project, your level runs. And once completed, submit to us and we'll get started on your glass engineered drawings and providing you your railing.